ask her what's wrong. Lavinia, what's wrong, my dear? They sent us a reminder message about Sunday school and I don't want to go. And why don't you want to go? I feel like it's too much. I want to go and play and have fun, but I don't want to have a lesson. Well, firstly, I'm glad that you're sharing your thoughts with us so that we can discuss them and find solutions. Secondly... Wait, please. I'll tell her. <laughs> OK. Today's story relates to what you're thinking about, Lavinia. Really? Please, tell me more, Mum. Our story today is about a beautiful young saint. His name is Abinob. Nice name, Dad. But what does it mean? Abinob means father of gold in Coptic. He was born in a small town called Nehisa in Egypt. His mum and dad taught him everything about Christian faith. But they died when Abinob was only 12 years old. Abinob loved the church with all his heart and was attending communion regularly. But Diocletian had ordered everyone to worship the idols. Otherwise, they would face the consequences. The church was encouraging all in the congregation not to be afraid, and no matter what, never to deny their faith, knowing that God will always be protecting them. After Abinob heard the priest talk, he couldn't help but think what he could do to declare his faith. Thank you, Lord, for everything. After mother and father passed, you never left me. I want to be with you always. Tomorrow, I'll go and confess my faith in front of the governor, and I wish you, Lord, to be with me. For I fear I am young and weak. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. On his way to the governor, Archangel Michael appeared to him and said, Peace be with you, Abinob. You will declare your faith in front of the governor. Don't be afraid, because God will never leave you. He will send me to heal you of all your wounds, and many miracles will happen in your name. Thank you, dear Lord, for the strength and guidance that you give me. Please, Lord, be always by my side. I am young and weak, but you are my strength. Wow, this is a really beautiful prayer. It reminds me of a verse that we learnt at Sunday school. It says, let the weak say, I am strong. Nice, Lavinia. See how Sunday school teaches you beautiful things? <laughs> and indeed, with the power of God, Abinob received the strength he needed. He entered the palace of the governor and declared his faith. Why do you kill the Christians? What did they do to you? The Christians worship Jesus and this upsets the idols. It causes many problems and lots of war. When I get rid of the Christians, our idols will be happy. But who are you and how did you get in here? My name is Abinu. I am a Christian and I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> you are too young for the tortures that I will show you. I will make you an offer. I will give you a big house to live in and servants to take care of you only if you deny your faith and worship my idols. How can anyone leave the one true and loving God to worship stones? I'll never deny my faith. It seems that you will now see the other side of me. Guards, take this boy and torture him until he denies his faith and worships the idols. The soldiers tortured Abinob with no mercy. But God sent Archangel Michael, who appeared to him and healed all his wounds. All the prisoners glorified God when they saw this, but this angered the governor more. Guards, tomorrow we shall set sail. I want you to take Abinob and hang him upside down on the boat's sail. He will remain this way until I hear him deny his faith. For days, the governor sat eating and drinking while watching Abinob suffering. Then suddenly, something strange happened. What happened, Mum? Archangel Michael appeared. He released Abinob's hands, lowered him from the sails, and healed all of his wounds. When the governor saw this, he was so frightened, he couldn't move his hands. And the onlooking soldiers were also blinded by this miracle, losing all sight. Abinob, please pray to your God to heal us. If your God shall grant us this mercy, I promise we will all be Christians. Abinob prayed for them. The governor and all the soldiers were healed and they became Christians. We believe in Jesus Christ! We believe in Jesus Christ! The new governor was very angry because many people believed in Jesus Christ after these miracles. The governor ordered the soldiers to throw Abinob in a room full of snakes. Thank you, dear Lord, for giving us the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Oh, Abinab, please help me. 
I fear the snakes. Help! Although Abinub helped the governor and saved him from the snakes, the governor refused to believe in Jesus Christ and kept on torturing Abinub. So many have become Christian because of this one boy. Guards, finish this now! Saint Abinob was martyred in 24 Thabib, and he received three crowns. In his icon, you'll always see him wearing white, as a symbol of his purity, because he was a child. You will always see him wearing a big cross, because he was strong in his faith and never feared the governors. And what are these small icons around him? These are the torches that Saint Abinob endured because of his love of Jesus Christ. You can see in his icon that, despite all the tortures, his face is always happy because he was sure that God was always with him. Wow, it's a very powerful story for such a young saint. He was young, but strong in faith. Yes, Lavinia. His faith was great because his parents taught him the love of God when he was young. The same as what we do in Sunday school. Before you go to Sunday school every week, you should pray to God to learn more about him so you too can grow like the saints. Thank you, Mum and Dad, for this beautiful story. Tomorrow I will go to Sunday school and learn more about Jesus to be just like St. Abinul. Good night, Mum and Dad. Good, Good night, night Lavinia. Lavinia.